Okay, everyone, thank you for coming to the channel. This is Deb Chanel's 40th World, and we are trying to figure some things out. Did y'all hear that Andy Cohen was out there not saying anything on Nene's name, especially when certain outlets was asking him to spill the beans, give them some insight on how he wants to deal with this situation, or how he's dealing with this situation of Nene Leaks wanting to come back. Well, honey, from Yahoo News and from Atlanta Black Star, and from this nice lady named Diamond wrote up an article on this situation, it did not favor Nene at all, and it didn't come out to portray Nene. I mean, on uh, Andy Leek saying anything about Nene. I mean, he didn't even really say her name in the <laughs> interview. Of course, she was on the Real, which is another uh, kind of a blogging site outlet, gossip news entertainment show segment that airs. Uh, I don't know what on st what station, but it comes on every day. Okay, and they were interviewing Andy about, you know, the show and the comings and goings and how's it doing, how he's doing, how his son doing, you know, how his personal um, after show thing is doing. And then they came up, of course, want to breeze in and talk about Nene Leakes and her antics of past and present and that she wants to come back to the show and what he feel about it. <laughs> he was like, child, please. Hi, and it batted them eyes and was like, uh, no. In his mind, he's like, we're not going through this. I am very well seasoned. My attorneys have told me, don't say anything about that lady. Don't think about that lady. And definitely don't do no interviews regarding that lady. And he has definitely, and that's just me talking, but I'm pretty sure he had a legal team, his own legal team in his ear saying, don't do it. Don't take the bait. She's going to try to bait you. She's just going to try to put salt on your name. She's already done said the worst thing she could possibly say to you. We don't have to rehash it. Just go in whatever avenue or situation <laughs> you may find yourself in. Don't talk about her. We're going to name her the name. The lady that we will not even speak into the existence, okay? Even if she around us, she might be front, dead center in front of us. We're going to make like we don't know her. And we definitely not going to call her name. Because really, she didn't want us to put her name in our mouths, okay? That's what she had said to Andy. She didn't want him to say her name out of his mouth. Keep her name out of his mouth. And he's definitely been doing his due diligence and favoring Kenya and other people on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and trying to keep Nene name out his mouth. Now, he titled his, or they titled uh, their article, Andy said, Ot, Ot, or Ot, Ot, you know, like he was kind of stuttering, but not stuttering, but he didn't want to say anything in my Kermit voice, okay? But if anybody know what the abbreviations are for AHT, let me know explanation aht explanation mark but that's how this lady had uh it being shown in her article but the article uh was saying andy coin shares his opinions on any leaks possibly wanting to return to the real housewives of atlanta okay and he expresses his take on nene leaks possibly returning to the real housewives of atlanta now with nene we don't give a you know fly flip of her returning we could care less but we're gonna say nene was very disrespectful to the franchise and to andy cohen with the boycott situation with the allegations of racism towards andy cohen uh just a whole lot of truckload of stuff that people are not really willing to forgive or forget they may forgive but they ain't gonna forget and the opportunities they could have thrown at your feet uh, pretty much dissolve or like clear crystal clear or like a ghost poof is gone you won't be getting any favors from them and if they find anybody in the industry trying to help you out on how they treated you they will probably be blackballed as well but in a sense i felt any blackball herself she got too greedy she saw you know things from her way of looking at things and not where they were actually at in reality and she treated a lot of people wrong okay she mistreated a lot of people herself even her viewers followers however you want to deem yourself when it comes to referencing her and viewing her 
as one of your faves. She didn't really treat uh, any human decent person correctly, especially if they were entering in her personal spaces. She felt she wasn't nice to people at the airport. She wasn't nice to people when uh, she was seen in a beauty supply store trying to get some supplies. You know, she was just rude. And you can't do that and feel like you want to make your um, career or your bread and butter is going to come from the entertainment industry when you don't know how to treat simple, you know, human beings such as yourself okay but anyway going back to the article it says um and it was virtually appearing on the real okay if anybody don't know what the real is i'm sure you do it's a really uh something like a youtube channel in a sense but on a higher platform uh they t uh it's just like a group of people getting together and discussing discussing daily topics that are happening out in society some can be salacious fruitful stories and some things could be like humanitarian politic based related okay uh related i should say but going back um uh, talking about the article andy cohen was being featured on the reel and they were asking him the comments and goings the past the present and the future uh outlook of the real housewives of atlanta where it's going you know how's his son ben and all these different things and then yeah, they kind of sassay sashays uh uh try to kind of put andy in a difficult spot where he had to come with saying something about Nene. Because they, they asked, you know, like, what are you going to do? Nene is begging to come back. Are y'all going to let her come back this, that, and third? So, <laughs> he was like, y'all ain't finna bamboozle me. Okay. I'm a smart, intelligent man. Okay. I know a lot of people in the journalistic realm of um, career choice fields. That they don't told me how to talk and handle situations like this. When I find myself in a difficult position when i'm giving interviews they told me how to get out this kind of stuff say nothing deny 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 but basically say nothing change the subject and hopefully the interviewer will get to where you're going that you're not going to be play into answering something that you didn't want to answer because you didn't know what the fallout would be okay so Yes, his legal team got on him and taught him, well, yes, I'm with Prince and that facial expression. Mama didn't raise no food. I was born, but not yesterday. Okay. So, Andy played that real, real cool. But going back into the article, we'll get back to what I was talking about. about. He played it cool. Because he's too fit to be tired about with Nene and her actions. He don't want to go back. He's tired. He's drained. And she put him in a real bad mental space, I'm sure. We're calling him a racist, you know, and all this other stuff. Job going on. Uh, it says Leaks first starred on the reality television series in 2008. Uh, she left in 2015. This is all really, really uh, rehashed stuff. We're not really gonna go into none of that. We don't care where Nene has been, come and gone. Uh, with coming back and forth from the um, show and going doing other uh, projects or endeavors. Uh, trying to make money but her final episode was uh, around 2020 in september of last year okay um leaks first claimed the reasoning behind her leaving the series was because of failed contract talks nene wanted too much money she wanted to have like a seat at the table where they make and shake and move and make those executives uh decisions on how things should be played out on the franchise and that's what she wanted they were like look are you crazy <laughs> You have the time, the energy, or the know-how to be sitting at this table, honey. And they pretty much uh, stood firm in their actions of not letting him have one of them seats, okay? But um, that was just my pun intended, what I thought she probably wanted. Um, but she said, uh, after failed negotiation contract talks, months following her departure, leaks accused Bravo Network executives, including Andy Cohen, of racism and urged fans to boycott the show. So, see, you try to make them lose money by your litigations if they were found true. Uh, then you want them to lose money. Uh, because if everybody found out they did that to you, the, of course, the boycott would have started. Probably would have shut shit down. And people would have lost their jobs behind it. Okay? Then you unfairly portrayed Andy. 
you know, in the public eye now, in the public eye, uh, a racist. Now, some people would have come to his defense saying he wasn't that. It was more so you. And you it, it was just a, a bad situation, okay? And then he's sitting out there telling everybody you had paid for his baby shower. Like the man couldn't pay hand over fist for seven or eight baby showers if he wanted to throw them. But you were, you know, telling the man business and making an a uncomfortable situation very uncomfortable. Uh, Cause one thing about people that got money, they don't like to talk about money. You know what I'm saying? They like to make money, but they don't like to talk about money and how it's being spent. And this, that, and the third. Okay? They don't even like going where they have prices. Okay? It's just like, no. If it's cost fifteen thousand and I got thirteen thousand, that's all I'm gonna give you. Are you gonna let that other two thousand slide and take what what I'm gonna give you? Nine times out of ten, a good no good negotiation is a good negotiation, and they probably didn't pay the full fifteen. They probably paid the thirteen, but that's just depending on how far they wanted to get rid of whatever they were selling, or you know, you probably talked a very good game and they were impressed, and they just had to take you up on your offer. Okay, because to them, money is money, you know. You lose some, you win some. And they know how to make up on the shit that they lose. Okay, I'm talking about the elite people. But anyway, um, that was just my thoughts. And then we go back into the article. It said, uh, since then, Leaks has changed her tune and stated she would have to hash things out with Cohen before maybe considering returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, my thing is, what do you have to hash out with Andy Cohen? He ain't the be-all, it-all of Bravo Entertainment. Truly original. He ain't the one that's signing the big-ass checks. And he's not the one that's saying who can come and who can go. Okay? They, meaning the people you don't see. Okay, you probably won't ever see that sit behind them closed doors and make decisions. Okay? You wouldn't even be thought of even attempting to be sitting at a seat at their table. Because for one, you ain't going to be that color. All right, you ain't that color, Nina. You ain't that color. And you don't have a legacy of money. Okay? Heritage behind you, baby girl. We talking about money that just don't have an end. Okay? Don't have a bottom. That's what I'm talking about, Nina. But anyway, that's just how I see things. And we go back to the article. And she thinks Andy is the one she has to get and feel comfortable with and she'll be okay. I'm like, Nene, you probably wouldn't be okay until you saw Andy Cohen leave out that door. And he was the one being tossed out and not you. Okay, would you give him a lifeline to come back in if he treated you that way or you treated him that way? Girl, what are you thinking? But anyway, going back to the article. It said on December 1st, during his appearance on The Real, Cohen expressed that he's only focused on season 14 of the Atlanta franchise when asked about the situation with Leaks possibly returning. He said, we are in the midst of shooting season 14 of the Atlanta Housewives and it's great. Marla Hampton has her peach and, Rich and Sheree Whitfield is back. Now, only thing I got to say about Marlo Hampton, okay, she had to toe the line, too, because she said some misdeeds. She had did some missteps when it came to the LGBT community. But, hey, they taught her a lesson. She learned it well, and she ain't said nothing else about that group of people. All right? I'm just saying, girl. But that's Nene's replacement in a nutshell. So, if anything... Nene is never coming back because they have a replacement in Marlo Hampton that can play both Nene and Marlo at the same damn time. Okay? But they and it was just wrong rubbing it in. Saying, Well, we have Marlo now. We don't need her. <laughs> and he didn't even say her name when he was saying, We have Marlo. She is a peach earner now and she's gonna make us money. Okay, and she's going to respect where she's at. And then with the whole situation with Sheree, we know in the media now that's playing out, she has no storyline. So, if anything, I could see them lessening her scenes in the 
episodes that are coming up for season 14 because she has nothing to offer as far as the storyline we don't want to see her tote information back and forth on castmates we don't really want to hear about that so it is be interesting to see how long or how far she goes in season 14 because i don't really think unless she comes up with a very good storyline she would be back for any other seasons all right but anyway that's just my opinion going back to the article it says cohen wrapped up his statement by briefly mentioning the newest addition to roa track star sanya richards ross we have some new faces and kenya moore is on fire dun 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 fire okay Kenya, okay. it's always playing chess she's never playing uno or checkers i've told y'all that in the past like a lover or be indifferent with her however she knows how to play the game she's like candy burris tucker they're gonna run this um show in the ground get as much as money they can get out of it so they can grow uh, uh and um, nurture and flourish other avenues when they are done with the show but they're gonna leave on good terms i promise you that <laughs> they're gonna leave on good terms and if they can be seen on another show featuring truly original or bravo enterprises they gonna be able to be welcomed back with open arms because they ain't finna say nothing negative or derogatory about their employer they just not gonna do it okay and that's why they both are lasting real well and doing real well on the franchise okay but that's just my opinion going back to the article it said um so i am really focused on uh that right now for season 14 of the housewives of atlanta and not really looking beyond that you see how he did that it was an open-ended question where he just summed it up what he was focused on and what he's going to continue to be focused on until somebody higher up in ranks over him tell him any different <laughs> i'm like go on and i ain't mad at you because when a person throws salt on your name whether you did it or you didn't do it you know because all allegedly but we know andy can be a little crazy with the uh melanated women than he do with the caucasian women so we know we know what uh grounds he rolls on okay but hey he gotta respect them if they respected him he gonna have to respect them if they ain't coming out of pocket with him he got to show them that same fable but when it was with nene it was just all this rah 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 you know and all this attacking 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 and you know and was like i ain't finna put over that first and foremost i'm a man i was born and raised a man and i know my hormones get in the mix sometime and we get the you know want to go you know tit for tat but and like mm -mm, honey no i understand my testosterone with you honey i'm not staying my testosterone and it's not saying to even cross over to even give you that you know benefit to where you can use it against me uh, later on saying i did something else to you so yeah he ain't opened up no uh lawsuit for nene to come through and put on him nope he got all that money he needs to save for ben his baby boy okay and his dog he got his dog back y'all i think i read some somewhere where he's um putting it back into his family uh with his son ben uh he's not as, as aggressive as he was or territorial as he was when ben first came in the picture so that was nice because you know pups are become your family you know what i'm saying then you be calling them your son or your daughter and you really be trying to instill values in them okay so i understand well um uh, and it was going with that so getting back to the article though um he said Andy response went viral many felt that the housewives executive producer basically dismissed leaks previously previous comments because he was tired of the situation and i'm like i, I can't blame can anybody blame Andy at this point no we cannot okay and i oop and said i i like he was stuttering uh nene played with that man he's over it and her see what happens when you burn your bridges honey and then you didn't burn that bridge honey she told that sucker down from both sides okay well it wasn't you couldn't even build it back okay she told it down but anyway going back to the article good for andy nene didn't burn the bridge after she left she freaking bombed it she slaughtered it. Andy 
Bravo and other housewives wanted people to boycott but wants to return? Hell no. I wouldn't bring her back if I was Andy. Laugh out loud. Andy said no redos, honey. Andy Cohen said no redos. All right. Cohen's recent appearance on The Real isn't the first time he had addressed this topic. He previously shared his sentiments last month doing his serious uh, XM show, Andy Cohen Live. He stated, what I don't want to do is get into a public thing with her. Meaning many leaks. He didn't say her name. He said her. Okay. I think she would probably prefer that I keep her name out of my mouth. And that is what I'm going to honor. Okay. Simply put. That's what he said. As Nene uh, royally said. I said what I said. So pretty much Andy Cohen said what he said. When he said he wasn't going to address Nene or any comings and goings surrounding her or about her. So I can applaud him for that. Just keeping it simple, keeping it cute, and moving on with the facts. And the facts are, Nene is not with Real Housewives of Atlanta no more. And if it was left up to him, I don't think she would ever be a part on any function. Uh, being a part of truly original entertainment or the Bravo uh, housewives franchise but this is me how i feel about the situation and what i was given to make that uh an astounding revelation okay but that's all i had peeps for this particular video you like love gotta have more don't hesitate to hit that subscription button subscribe to the channel you'll know when i become uh well when i've developed videos and i'm dropping them down for your viewing and if you feel like you don't want to subscribe to my channel, it's okay. I'm not for everybody. I understand that. But I don't know. Why not? Okay? It don't cost you nothing. But, hey, it is your uh, time. And you can't get that back. So, uh, I suggest you like my video and share my videos. If you don't want to do that, it's okay, too. Okay? I'm one of those kind of people. Do you all day, every day. Just show respect. That's it. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like y'all. Love y'all. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.